So welcome to a quick little tutorial. Does EPO work? Lance on the Edgar and Lance off the Edgar. Now, everybody knows if you're a professional athlete at the top, at the peak, if you're not on performance enhancing drugs, you got no fucking chance of renewing your contract, man. Basketball, running, swimming, athletics, track and field, discus, shot put, cycling, UFC, boxing. If you're not on drugs, you got no fucking chance of being a big name, big dollar earner. Here we have Lance Armstrong, smashing off the front, smashing all the other dopers, everyone's on the same page, and uh, Lance personifies that hard attitude, just uh, no matter what happens, Lance, there he goes, he crashes, Lance doesn't give a fuck, he's off the honey badger, gets on his bike, goes again, now there's no doubt that Lance has the hard attitude, there's no doubt about it, you have to be a fool to think that Lance isn't a hard worker, and you'd also have to be a fool to think you could perform so well clean people think oh Lance is a cheat well if you're not doping you got no fucking chance of keeping up look at this Lance has got he's, he's crashed his bicycle is cracked his right chainstay drive side chainstay is cracked it's flexing he's passing people he's just crashed he's just lost time and now he's on the attack now that is how EPO works it spikes the fuck out of your hemoglobin man so you are getting that maximum oxygen to the cells look at that Lance is off the front off the front. That's EPO. It works. Scientists tell me it doesn't work. Bullshit. Now here's Lance, 2008, Leadville, Dave Weens. First and second place here. This is Lance riding clean. Bit of a difference. Yes, it's on a mountain bike, but you can see there's actually real fatigue. You can put <laughs> Lance is personifying the effort here. You can tell there's effort and there's fatigue. There's no uh, EPO assistance going on here. If these guys were on the EPO, they'd be fucking riding up this climb and waving. So that is how you ride clean. Now, spe look how many spectators there is. One, two, three, four, five, six spectators. Because people want to see superhuman performances. They don't want to see people battling on their mountain bike. This is Lance Armstrong, 10 years steroid use, self-admitted testosterone, growth hormone, etc. This is a basketball player, Dwight Howard, uh, just full natural glow, because uh, basketballers don't dope. It's a known fact basketballers are totally clean. That's why the NBA doesn't even test for human growth hormone, EPO, testosterone. They've got hardly any banned substances on their list. The NBA doesn't test because basketballers don't use drugs. They don't even smoke dope. Basketball, cleanest sport out there, full natty bra, 100%. Now, it was just a mistake that Overeem tested positive for testosterone. He didn't take nothing, man. Full natty bra. Before and after, full natty bra. There's only cyclists who use juice. Look at Joe Rogan's face. He said, yeah, man, good work, Overeem. Full natty. Full natty. Barry Bonds, totally natural. In his early 20s on the left, highest testosterone, and in his 30s on the right. 700 home runs. Full natural. Mark McGuire. What do you get, 73, 70 home runs in one season? Just milk, man. It was just milk, and even Sammy Sosa agrees. It was just the dairy. No juice. Baseball players don't take juice, man. They don't take juice. Schwarzenegger, he didn't start steroids when he was 15, man. That's just a myth. That was just all natural. Just hard work and commitment. Same with Jay Cutler, man. Ectomorph. Ectomorph, pro bodybuilder. Totally natural. Just been training for a long time. That's all. Ziz. Ziz didn't even smoke cigarettes. Ziz was such a health nut, he wouldn't do nothing, man. It was it was just unfortunate genetics that causes premature heart disease. Just unfortunate. Michael Phelps, man, you could dip chips in the pool he swims in and taste the hot sauce, but never tested positive. Marion Jones never tested positive. Olympic gold medalist, most successful female track athlete of all time, never tested positive. Full natty bra. Michael Jordan, he would never use gear, man. Never, ever, never. No reason to. There's, there's no money in basketball. People, you just sound like haters, man. Dwayne Chambers, early 20s. Higher testosterone levels naturally of any male athlete. And Dwayne Chambers, <laughs> full natty bra. Never got busted, though, did he? Never. Just totally full natural and, uh, you know, just hard work, man. It's just drugs don't work. How many times do I have to tell you, drugs don't work. You won't win anything, you won't get any accolades, you won't make any money. There's no reason to take drugs. You can just do the hard work, man. Just do the hard work and training. 
Ben Johnson. It was just a setup. He never took nothing. He doesn't even look like he's on roids. This kid here, it's just hard work, man. No juice. Just hard work. This guy looks like he does a lot of chin ups, man. No roids. Just chin ups. There's no way carrot tops on any juice here. That's totally natural. Full natty bra. This guy here, he's a full health nut, mate. He wouldn't even smoke cigarettes, man. Why would you smoke cigarettes and that? This guy, nothing out of the ordinary here. Probably in his late 50s. Totally natural to be that big. Same this guy here. Full natty. Full natty bra. This chick here, she looks familiar. Looks like a man, but that's just that's just genetic. No, she wouldn't take nothing, man. No reason to. There's no advantage to doing anything like that. I am a real Rips off that shirt. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, be true to yourself, true to your country, be a real American. I have been patient. I have been cooperative. And I have done all I can do to provide USADA with information that I have knowledge of because I believe in a drug free sport and having a drug free Olympic team. Let's all review the facts. I have never, ever failed a drug test. I have taken over 160 drug tests. I have taken tests before, during, and after the 2000 Olympics and have never failed a test. USADA has no information that shows that I have ever failed a test because simply I have never failed a test. And no information exists anywhere to even suggest that I have ever failed a test. I have truthfully answered every question asked of me under oath. Is there a lot of drug use going on in Olympics? No, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Dr. Exum was the director of anti-doping at the U.S. Olympic Committee for 10 years. He thought his job was to stop drugs in sports, but his bosses had other priorities. He told me that over 2,000 American athletes failed their drug tests. The truth is I didn't use testosterone like I'm accused of doing. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything outside of the rules. I won the tour clean, and uh, I deserve to win. I'm proud of it, and I always will be. Enter Steve Rogers, too puny to be accepted by the Army, but willing to risk death for his country. He's changing right before our eyes. Suddenly it is over, and America has a new champion. Please welcome a man whose story embodies the American dream. One thing I learned about America is that if you work hard and if you play by the rules, this country is truly open to you. You can achieve anything.